All right. So I'm going to answer another question I get all the time. I'm learning that if there's a question I get over and over and over, it's just easier to do video and then refer people to the video. And then it allows me to spend my time answering new questions. And uh, I have to say one of the questions that I get a lot, and most of this in my private messaging, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or, or uh, Twitter, is people or through the website portal. I don't know. Uh, if you guys ever want to reach out to us directly, you can go to skinwalker dot or no skinwalker dash ranch dot com, and you can fill out the contact us form and refer to one, any member of the team, and they'll forward that to us. So we get that. So uh, whether it be the uh, email or or social media, I get a lot of questions about my hat. I'm not talking about this hat. I'm talking about the leather cowboy hat that I wear on the show. And there's actually a story behind it. So before I tell you about what kind of hat it is and answer the question, I'll just tell you the story real quick. So people that know me growing up here in the Uinta Basin, uh, when I see them, sometimes I get razzed because they're like, we don't even recognize you in a cowboy hat. And it's true. Growing up, I didn't wear a cowboy hat. Um, I'm more of a baseball cap type of guy. And uh, there's only one exception to that. And of course, the people in the basin wouldn't know this because they don't see me wear it. But that's when I go to the beach. So I'm a huge beach bum. The beach is my happy place in this world. It's where I escape to recharge and unwind. And specifically the Atlantic Ocean because the water's warm. So Florida. I um, spent a lot of time down on the beach in Florida so recharging my batteries. And... Uh, and when I'm on the beach, I have this hat that I wear. I take it with me to the beach. And uh, I'm not going to call it a cowboy hat or I'll really get made fun of here because it's just this straw hat. It's kind of, I mean, it's it's a pretty raggedy hat. But uh, I know that when I wear it, sometimes I embarrass my kids. I definitely embarrass my wife. Uh, but I don't care. I'm in Florida. Nobody knows me. Like, the hat keeps my head shaded and cool. I like it. I really don't care what people think, so whatever. But here in the Uno Basin, I don't wear that hat. Um, so fast forward, and we're getting ready now to film uh, season one. And my family and I are, we, we take the weekend, we go to Steamboat Springs, which is this really cool ski town just over the border in Colorado. And uh, Steamboat's about a four-hour drive away. And as you're driving to Cal or California, as you're driving to Colorado, uh, about 100 miles away from Steamboat, you start seeing these yellow signs, these great big yellow signs on the side of the road, advertising this really historic store called FM Light and Sons, and they sell Western wear. And the thing we, one of the things that we love about Steamboat Springs is it's got the coolest Main Street. They're like all these cool little boutique shops down Main Street, and we love to just walk down Main Street and walk in and out of the shops and see all the, the different things. And uh, and so this FM Light and Sons is one of those stores. Excuse me. So we're in the store, and uh, and I see this cowboy hat, uh, this leather hat. And I try it on, and the reason it caught my eye, I'll show you, is it looks really similar to my straw hat that I wear at the beach. And uh, I try this hat on, and uh, I'm thinking, yeah, pretty, pretty cool hat. And then my wife sees me in the hat, and she's like, oh, you, you're buying that hat. That looks really good on you. Like, I like that style. So I will go ahead and buy the hat. And then a short time later, uh, we've got the producers at the ranch. We're like, you know, we're, we're starting to film a couple things, and... Uh, I'm wearing the hat out there because, you know, I'm out on the ranch. Nobody can see me, really, other than just a few members of the team. And uh, and I'm wearing this hat, and the producers see it, and they're like, oh, we really like that hat on you. Like, you should totally wear that for the show. And I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I will. So I go ahead, and I wear this hat on the show. Now, I have to admit, when I first started wearing it on television, I was super self-conscious because, uh, like I said, I'm not a cowboy hat guy. So it was like this new... I don't know. I, I just kind of felt out of place. Uh, I mean, I grew up on a farm around the cows and all that, but I didn't wear the Western wear. So, but the hat's super comfortable. It shields my eyes from the light. I have sensitive eyes. And so, you know, the bright sunny days on during the summer, like it, it shaded my face, kept me cooler. I 
I got to where I really, really like this hat. But one of the things is, is that, like, I do sweat a lot with it. And I think that, that it made the leather shrink. Because as season one is nearing an end, this hat is getting super tight on my head. To the point when I take it off, like, I have this really dark um, ring around my head that takes forever to go away. Uh, it's like almost turning, it, it's almost cutting off the circulation to my head that it's so tight. So I'm thinking, I can't keep wearing this hat. Like, it's, and, and my wife teases me and she's like, oh, yeah, you get on TV and you're, now your, your head's starting to get big. Um, I can assure you the hat shrunk. Like, the rest of my hats, they're all the same size. They all fit fine. So it wasn't my head that got bigger. It was just the, it was the hatch that shrunk. So going into season two, uh, I'm thinking, you know what? Like I got to get a new hat because that, there's no way I can fit into that season one. And so I go back to the same store and uh, luckily they had an extra large and I was able to buy a, another hat, which got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? I bought a hat for season one. I bought a hat for season two. If we get a season three, I'll go back and I'll buy another hat. So we did get a season three. It's going to start airing here soon. And then, uh, and so went back to Steamboat and uh, got another hat. So there's my beach hat. And there's season one. I signed, I signed the inside of these hats. So after, when I bought this season two hat... Uh, my wife made me give her this one. She laid claim to it. So that's my wife's hat. I had to ask permission uh, to use it for this video, get it off of her shelf. Um, she's possessive of it. But um, anyways, that's season one and then season two. Now, I didn't make it back to Steamboat Springs to get the season three hat until we had already been filming season three for a couple weeks. So when I signed my season two hat, I said season two and about a quarter of season three. But uh, that that's primarily season two. And then, of course, my season three that I wore for the rest of the season three. Um, so uh, these hats, they're bull hide. Um, very comfortable, very well made. Um, I love the hats. Now... I'm not, I'm not getting paid to endorse them. Although, Bullhide, if you're out there listening, I wouldn't be opposed to, to an endorsement deal because I have sold a lot of hats for you. Um, I have gotten pictures from people that send me either email or in my message box showing me a picture of them and their new hats. And they're like, hey, I got a hat just like yours. Whether Like I've got them on Father's Day, on birthdays, on Christmas. I've sold a lot of these hats for you, so like, you know, I, I wouldn't be opposed to an endorsement bill, but that's not why I'm doing this. Um, I just, I wanted to answer what kind of hat it was, because I get asked that all the time, and, uh, and you know, uh, I got I got a season one, I got season two, season three, season three is just about to air, and I'm telling you right now, like, season three was so intense, I can't wait for our fans to watch it, because... Um, it, it's going to be an amazing season and I'm hoping that I'll get to add another hat right there, season four. So anyways, thanks for watching. Like really appreciate our fans. We appreciate the people that watch the show who show an interest in the ranch and the, the research that we're doing out there. We couldn't do this without you. We're grateful for you. And, uh, Appreciate the engagement. Feel free to reach out and ask questions anytime. I do my best to answer them. I know the rest of the team does as well. Um, so, and, and if I get the same question a lot, I'll try to take the time and do a video on it. So, anyways, thanks guys.